It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Ello. And it's a bottle of their Lease Ale Kiss. It's 4.7% ABV. There's a look at the bottle. Black bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Interestingly, you may want to hang around to the end of the review for this one. Uh, we've got a bottle opener from Ello. A glass from Ello. So the beer was obviously sent from them in Norway and this do not open until the beer is rated so you may want to hang around for this one just to see what is said in that paper I don't know what it's I don't, I don't know what's said in it either to be honest so anyway let's go let's do it nice bit of smoke on the opening beer in the glass then Yo! Okay, so that was my fault. That was my fault completely. Be in the glass, golden in colour. Nice levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's a two to three finger. Slightly off white head, golden amber coloured ale, bit rigorous on the pour from me there. Let's get the aroma. It smells good. That smells really, really good to be honest. Zesty, punchy. Very, very citrusy. Grapefruit, mango, pine needle. A little bit of sweetness from the malt coming through. It smells wonderful. Let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I'm so pleased that they produced a fantastic beer. I reviewed a Pilsner from them around a month ago and I didn't like it at all. And I made my feelings known that I thought it was a contract Pilsner that was just repackaged by these people. It's, it's a new Norwegian craft brewery and I thought it was repackaged and just put in a craft beer bottle and made to look crafty when it was a regular Pilsner. And maybe I was a little bit harsh Maybe I was a little bit harsh, but I can only be honest. That's how we are on the channel. And I wondered if it's got something to do with this, this, this note. Uh, but anyway, this particular beer, what I have in my hands tonight, is quite frankly, lovely. It's a fantastic, good example of a, an American style pale ale. It's crisp, it's clean, it's refreshing. Carbonation bounces around the inside of the mouth. Nice little bit of sweetness from the malt to begin with, followed by a rampant hop sensation on the back of the palate. It's piney, it's grapefruity, there's some fleshy blood orange going on there. A little bit of pink grapefruit. All the good things you expect from an American pale ale. Nice bitterness on the back end. Let's see if it's bottle conditioned. So I've got to rate the beer. Really interesting. So bottle conditioned beer, then you can see it's far more hazier now with the conditioning added to the beer. Sediment, etc. It's it's a bottle conditioned beer, so they add a little bit of yeast to each bottle, a little bit of sugar, maybe, maybe, and it's the second fermentation process that carbonates the beer naturally. If you want to know more, Google it. Right. I suppose I'd better rate this now, hadn't I? I want to rate it early so I can get off to to have a look at this note with you guys. Why 
what it boils down lately to me is I like to kind of maybe pick a particular bar. Now I've been to Norway, the record shop, Apollon I think it's called, the record shop in Bergen. One side records, one side craft beer, wonderful place. If they had this on in the bar and I had a few beers and I, ha and, and I found this one, would I buy another bottle or another half? And the answer is yes. It's an overwhelming yes. This is a, is a typical, fantastic example, as I mentioned earlier, of an American pale ale. Lovely and juicy, lovely and carbonated, really refreshing, good Norwegian water. Fantastic hoppiness there from the, from the American hops. Grapefruity, biscuity, piney, fleshy, blood orange, pink grapefruit, all of them lovely things. You know, nice bitterness on the back end. Let's rate it. Yeah, I love that. I think that's fantastic. I, I'm, I'm really eager to read this note. I like that enough to give it a nine out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows, nine out of 10. Can see, please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up just yet, can I? Here we go. Pardon me. Okay, there we go. It's a certificate. Uh, Bergen Whiskey and Beer Festival, 2017. Best in festival, category best Norwegian produced beer, Allo Lice Ale, Bergen Whiskey and Beer Festival, 2017. Dated the 11th of the 2nd, 2017. And there's a signature. Now, that's, um, that's quite um, remarkable, really. I mean, they've sent me the certificate. I know, I know I was harsh with the Pilsner, but that was my honest opinion. I've just given my honest opinion on this American style pale ale. And yes, look at the lacing, look at the beer. Looks great. That, for me, Could be the winner. I, I'm not surprised this won. It's a very good beer. Um, I don't know. This is your this is your certificate. Do you want me to send it back to you? I mean, it must be very important for you. I mean, um, it, it'll mean a lot more to you guys, surely, than it than it will to me. And, I, and I'm not saying. Uh, I don't want it. I mean, but I'm just wondering. This should be hanging up in your brewery. That's what I'm trying to say. This should be in a picture frame. In your brewery, not, not with me here in Wales. Um, I, I don't. I, I don't. I'm a, a bit, just a little bit miffed by it. But um, fabulous beer. It was. It was Elo and Litton all. Lint's Ale Kiss. I just give it a 9 out of 10. Well justified. 4.7% ABV. Please try it. Wonderful beer. Uh, yeah, 9 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.